If you go to the Vale of Bradwell in Derbyshire, you'll look up at a great ridge which springs 500 feet from the floor of the valley. It's Bradwell Edge, the home of one of Britain's oldest and largest gliding clubs. Here, almost any fine weekend, you will see their gliders twisting, turning, climbing like great gulls on the wings of the west wind. Only twice the weight of their pilots, they're the most efficient flying machines in the world. They'll climb at 3,000 feet a minute through thunder clouds, or drift serenely at 30 miles an hour on the breath of wind which rises over Bradwell Edge. Below, outside the hangar, club members watch. The old hands are mildly critical. They know the finer points of the game. They've done it all before. But to the new members, mastery of these sleek aircraft seems as remote as the stars. Here, just as you and I might be, are Peter and Pauline, ready to learn to fly. Away they go with their instructor on the first rung of the ladder that leads to the clouds. To the clouds, did I say? But surely not in this. You're quite right. It's only a slider. The fabric has been cut out of the wings deliberately so that it positively cannot fly. But it does its job well. It teaches the first principles of gliding. How to balance your aircraft, how to keep it moving straight and level. Pulled by a steel wire, it rushes across the ground, bumping, jumping, jerking, but its wings are still held level by the pilot as if in real flight. Yes, if she can keep the wings level, she'll soon be ready for her first hop into the air. Get the idea? Stick to the left, and the left wing goes down. Stick to the right, and the right wing goes down. It's the first thing to learn when you become a pilot. Right, now for the towing cable. At the other end of it is the winch with a 90 brake horsepower engine. The batsman signals all out to the winch. The wire tightens, the winch driver opens the throttle. And she's off. That's good. Just look at those level wings. As steady as a rock. Peter thinks it was easy as he clambers aboard, but he's going to need those straps. Not so good, not so good at all. See how those wingtips are touching the ground. A very shaky slide. Anyway, let's leave Peter for the moment. Outside the hangar on this fine morning, a senior instructor is doing one of his daily chores. Routine inspection of aircraft. At least 20 points to examine, 20 checks to be made. A frayed wire, a loose bolt or jammed controls, and you've had it, chum. 
Still, cell planes are pretty strong. They're made of Canadian spruce and birch plywood, the toughest in the world. They loop, spin, and even roll. But the instructor checks and rechecks until he's satisfied that the sail plane is airworthy and safe to fly. Like gulls, in perfect silence, held up by the gently rising air. Yes, very like gulls at play. Play over, they land one by one as lightly as thistledown. As a change from flying, members rebuild broken machines in the club workshop. Yes, sailplanes sometimes do get broken, but the art of repairing them is taught at a very early age. 